In the early 1980s, the communist government of Poland allowed for the formation of a labor union outside of communist party control, located in Solidarnosc, or Solidarity. Solidarity, Solidarity aggressively pushed for reforms to the Soviet way of life, and inspired a nation and a continent to break free from the collapsing USSR. The movement led to the first free elections in Poland since the 1940s, and has had a profound effect on Poland and its people. Solidarity was founded in September of 1980. However, it was forcibly suppressed by the Polish government in December of 1981. Despite this, Solidarity reemerged in 1989 to become the first opposition movement to participate in free elections in the Soviet bloc nation since the 1940s. Solidarity subsequently formed a coalition government with Poland's United Workers Party, after which its leaders dominated the national government. Poland gained independence from Russia in the aftermath of World War I, but was only independent for 20 years before it was invaded from the west by Germany and from the east by the USSR. German-occupied Poland was home to many concentration camps, including Auschwitz, and by the end of the war, not only was Warsaw burned to the ground, three million Jewish Poles, or about one-tenth of the population of Poland, were dead. Poland emerged from World War II, an impoverished nation with a broken economy, and quickly fell under the influence of the increasingly powerful USSR. The intense economic problems in Poland led it to be one of the slowest satellite states in the Soviet Union to collectivize. However, industrial production was still increased in Poland, and Polish factories and docks were critical for the Soviet Union. Unfortunately for the Polish people, the processed goods that they produced rarely made it to their own shelves. Shortages and queuing became the way of life, and one woman recalls that she would often wait in line for three hours for bad products. As the 60s wound to a close, increases in price and a worsening of economic conditions set Poland on the path that would lead to the Solidarity Movement of the 1980s. In 1970, the Polish government decided that it would need to raise the price of key consumer goods in an attempt to combat the severe economic issues Poland was beginning to experience. However, this price increase resulted in a 45% cut in workers' real wages and led to a striking dust. In response, the Polish government sent troops and fired on a mass of protesters, killing and wounding hundreds. Lech Walesa was one of the leaders of the strike committee and was inspired to continue fighting for the workers' rights. The origin of solidarity traces back to 1976, when a workers' defense committee, or KOR, was founded after many people were rounded up and jailed for their political expression. The KOR gave support in the form of medical and legal aid to families and became an organization that symbolized resistance. In 1979, it published a Charter of Workers' Rights. The Charter had demands including the right to create trade unions, the right to strike, freedom of speech and press, and the freeing of political prisoners. The Charter also had more practical demands including a call for a pay raise, early retirement age, and ex exporting only surplus food. The Charter was important because it created a list of demands and gave opponents of the communist government a point to start negotiation. Another important event that contributed to the creation of Solidarity was the election of Pope John Paul II. The Church had long been successful at avoiding the wrath of the Communist Party in Poland, and John Paul II became a point of pride for Polish people and caused an increase in nationalism. In 1979, the new pope visited Poland and called for a revolt in favor of religious freedom. In the 1980s, another round of regulations that made everyday products significantly more expensive caused Dask to once again form resistance. Lech Walesa led a strike of 17,000 workers in the Lenin shipyards. Walesa was arrested and the strike was put down, but again Walesa had successfully formed resistance against strict Soviet rule. This fight with the communist monster was really impossible. We could only fight against it by using its own weapons, because it pretended to be the people's system. The only effective way was for us to organize around bread and butter issues. In mid-August 1980, an interfactory strike committee was established in Dask to coordinate rapidly spreading strikes there and elsewhere. 
Within a week, it presented the Polish government with a list of demands that were based largely on CORE's charter wor workers' rights. On August 31st, the movement was successful in legalizing the formation of unions, as well as giving the people of Poland more freedoms of expression. On September 22, 1980, Solidarnosc, or Solidarity, was founded as the first labor union in the USSR outside of the control of the Communist Party. Valesa was chosen to lead the movement as chairman of Solidarity, and an agricultural union called Rural Solidarity was also formed. By early 1981, Solidarity was 10 million members strong and represented a large portion of Poland's working population. The influence Solidarity wielded was immense, and the union was able to force the communist government to come to the negotiation table and make concessions for workers. A former deputy foreign and defense minister of post-communist Poland recalled, quote, There was tremendous hope and a kind of electricity between people. You know, it's said that we Poles become a nation once in a generation, and just like we did recently when the Pope died. And that was one of those moments when, suddenly, millions of people felt they wanted the same thing, which was free trade unions to represent them against the Communist Party. It gave people hope that perhaps communism could be reformed. We know now that it couldn't. Throughout 1981, the Polish government, led by General Jaruszelski, began to be increasingly pressured to meet the demands of solidarity, which included increased influence of labor unions, economic reform, and free elections. As time went on, the more militant wings of solidarity began to pressure Walesa to take a harder stand. Jaruszelski government was pressured by the Soviet leadership to crack down on solidarity, and on December 13, 1981, martial law was declared in Poland. Solidarity was declared illegal, and its leaders were arrested. In addition, a curfew was put in place, and restrictions on freedom of speech, press, and religion lasted long after martial law was officially declared to be over. Solidarity was outlawed, and its power was significantly weakened. However, while this was a significant defeat, Solidarity was not broken. A key turning point in the fate of Solidarity was the change in leadership in the Soviet Union. When Gorbachev assumed power in 1985, the world watched to see what the young leader of the USSR would do. Glasnost was a policy that called for more openness, and was what allowed the Solidarity movement to begin to gain steam once again. In 1988, the Soviet Union was facing worsening economic conditions as a result of the continuing war in Afghanistan, and because the Polish economy was so closely linked with that of the USSR, Poland's economy deteriorated as well. Economic decline forced yet another round of price increases that reignited the Solidarity Movement. Widespread strikes once again focused in Gdansk forced the government to the table, and in April 1989, the government allowed Solidarity-backed candidates to run in a free election. Despite early polling indicating the Communist Party may remain in power, Solidarity almost swept the election, winning all but one seat in the upper house and all of their allocated seats in the lower house. This led to the first non-communist prime minister in Poland being elected since the 1940s through a coalition Solidarity built with the Poland's United Workers' Party, or the PUWP. In December 1990, Walesa was elected president of Poland. However, Solidarity split as there was a loss of a common enemy. Despite the collapse of Solidarity as a political party after 1990, the Polish Solidarity movement was successful in freeing Poland from communist rule and started a chain reaction of states freeing themselves from the Soviet bloc. Today, Poland is a democratic member of the EU as are many of the nations that followed Poland out of the USSR's influence. Walesa played a key part in this movement, but according to Walesa, before its pontificate, the world was divided into blocks. Nobody knew how to get rid of communism. In Warsaw, in 1979, he simply said, Do not be afraid, and later prayed, Let your spirit descend and change the image of the land, this land.